Good morning, everybody. Got a beautiful day today. A really beautiful day. A lot of God's creations out here. I hear them singing, chirping. I got beautiful Bradley with me. Just want to share this, this sweet, sweet message with you. Today I'm going to be working on some bird houses. I got to get some cut out, so I'm going to let little man here, I'm going to let him nibble on some grass. Y'all enjoy, y'all enjoy today's video. Baby. This is our new baby to protect. What you think, Bradley? What you think? Listen to the beautiful, listen how beautiful them geese are. I'm cutting four at a time. I'm going to go ahead and cut enough materials to make eight bird houses. Little Bradley just at my feet. You hear them geese? How pretty they are. I 
I got Bradley on this little on this little leash because with me cutting and stuff, I want to be able to keep a good eye on him so he don't fall off the dock. But it's just it's just training, so I'm gonna need. These are the ones that got the, these are the sides of the bird house. They a little different. Just right. It is just radiating with beauty out here. Let me tell you something about little Bradley. If you ain't hearing nothing out of him, he's a happy baby. are going to be ripped. This is going to be the front of the house. One way to do it.
Oh my gosh. I hope y'all seen that fish. That was a big old fish. Ripping a piece that little on this kind of saw is dangerous. That's why I go ahead and make my rip while I got something to hang on to good. sawdust all over everything all right I'm gonna set this up right here what you think oh y'all check this out these bracelets it's got a mountain on it faith can move mountains Matthew 17 20 I have a hundred and fifty of these that says random quotes with Bible verses I got yellow purple orange red green they're beautiful beautiful and coming up I want to get a couple videos done but I'm gonna give the viewers y'all lovely people a chance to receive one and I'm excited about it um, I just I just want to send this out and and I and if you would like one if you need one like day to day I know I know it's hard right now but hey with y'all's help, keeping faith, staying strong, staying together as one, it's going to be beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. How pretty. It's so amazing. I want to thank the good Lord for opening my eyes and my heart so that I could stop and smell the roses and <laughs> enjoy this. I'm very blessed and thankful that I get to do this. I mean, I have a regular job. <laughs> this, this ain't my full-time job, but this is what I like to do on my spare time. I like to I like to make a difference and little man's biting on my camera leg <laughs> oh gosh I want to thank y'all for what you do the biggest help y'all could do if you could do one thing to help me the most that's share to share the content share it to your Facebook 
let's get the word out. Let's improve things. And I want to touch as many people as humanly possible. I want to try to turn that bad day into a good day. I want to try to turn that depression into happiness. And I want to... I just want to make a difference. And with y'all love and support, that's definitely in the works. And I'm so excited. Little Bradley don't know it, but he's excited. If y'all don't know about lambs or any kind of babies, let me tell you this much I found out. If you can't hear him, he's happy. If, if you leave him and he sees you, and, you, and I mean you will know it. He hollers, he runs, and he ain't quiet until he's back in your presence. And I love to get the opportunity to raise him and love him, nourish him. And I also want to, I'm thankful that I, I get to share him with y'all. Uh, everybody, most people has a bad past. Everybody has a bad story. Everybody, if you live long enough, you'll have sorrow. And this little guy has plenty. So the rest of his life, Lord willing, we're going to use that as positivity. And and he's going to be a, a, a way maker. And I'm so happy that I have y'all along for the journey. All right, his butt's clean, Coca. Coca just wants to lick his butt. What in the world? I guess that's what mamas do, but... When a mama does it, we don't... I mean, we like, oh, But when you see a stranger doing it, we like, uh. <laughs> Come on. I ain't going to put it together right yet, but I'm going to show you. Little Bradley. Little Bradley. This is our front and back. Alright. We got top and bottom, back, sides, and front. I knew that. Kind of just show y'all right quick. This little baby is this little baby. It's right here. Batting on my shoe. Anyway, 
just want to like quick, like show you quick. Kind of way it looks. But I got to, I got to get everything set up right. And make my, make my last few little preps and get my hole drilled in it, get them, get them put together, sand them down and start the painting process. Jeez, look at this little baby. Look at this little baby down here. Bless his heart everywhere it goes. He just wants to be right under my feet. Sorry you on this cable. You won't be on it for long, baby. This is his first time outside today. Miss Coca, she's the deaf dog. Here's Diesel. He's the sweet shepherd that's going to help look after the baby. This is our new baby, guys. We 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 got to be mama and daddy and protector now. Okay? Y'all be sweet. Y'all be sweet. We gonna treat him the same way I treat y'all. Okay? <laughs> Bless your heart, you sound like a little hog. Sound like a little hog. Just a little hog rooting around. <laughs> oh. Give him some space. Oh. Yeah, baby, what? Did you have to go to the potty? Come on, look. Give y'all a better view of the water. Look at the beautiful geese coming in. Here they come. Oh, they're so pretty. They go into the lower track. That's a good, that's good. Got a love on the baby. Got a love on the baby. Got a love on the babies. Got a love on the babies. Oh my goodness. Well, we just have a big old. Just have a big old animal farm, it looks like. Oh, I got something else to show you. I recently got... Recently got a new feeder. Is beautiful. It's a new feeder for the birds. Hold on, baby, I'm coming. I'm sorry. Could not do this without y'all. Uh, y'all make this very special, and I am so glad 
to be able to share positive meaning. I'm, I'm so thankful I have y'all in my life, my family. Oh my gosh, more geese. We're so thankful to have y'all. You, you mean a lot to us. And I enjoy doing this for y'all. Look at how beautiful. How beautiful nature is. All the sounds. All the animals. Ooh. Let's go take Bradley to meet the pigs. He hadn't seen them yet. Come on. Alrighty, y'all. We're going to be going to see pigs. See if I can get this turned around where I don't. <sighs> He's on the other side of me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to apologize. I see the baby. I see the baby hogs. I see the baby hogs. I see the baby hogs. What are you doing? Come on, Bradley. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here's the new baby. What you think of that, huh? What you think of that? What you think of that baby? What you think of that baby? Chunky monkey, you sleeping? What are you doing, baby? Aw, oh, you a good girl. You a good girl. You like your belly rub? You like your belly rub? Come in. Come in. Your little belly. It's so tight. What, Bradley? What? You see the babies? You see the babies? See the babies? Yeah. Chunky Monkey, good morning. Good morning, Chunky Monkey. Y'all got a bunch of corn.
everybody's meeting everybody this morning. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing, girl? What you doing? You hear Coke out there barking? I don't even know what she's barking at. Ready, Bradley? We met the we met the family. Here we go. All righty, y'all. Thank you for being a part of meeting some of the family. It's Bradley's first time out of the house. Well, first time, you know what I'm saying. Come on. <sighs> These babies are excited. <laughs> he walked so close to me, it's funny. He keeps getting out. I mean like that. Now that was real close. It's beautiful green grass right here. Beautiful green grass. These are the four bird houses that I cut the patterns out for and I just like assembled them right quick. Me and Bradley is gonna work on we're gonna take them apart and we're gonna sand them and we gotta cut our hole out for the birds and you eating my strap. And then we're going to paint them, and we're going to have them ready to send out to our lovely, lovely audience. Hey, get chill, Elvis. I mean, chill a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, give him a second to take it in. Gonna ease back up here to the house. We'll go feed little man here. Enjoy y'all watching. Enjoy y'all getting to see. And little man here. Still having to watch him with the other pups we got. They're really sweet. Coca's actually a cattle dog. 
sheep dogs uh, it's actually what you know they're bred for but she's never been trained to do it but the good news is is that's about like a lab in water you ain't got to train them for them to love it alrighty well gonna get in here and feed little man and I'll catch y'all in a bit thank you are you hungry you hungry baby come on Oh, it's so beautiful. The sunshine feels so good. Gotta get little turbo fed. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at his little collar. It's the cutest little collar. I can hear it going in your tummy. Your little tummy just making noises. <laughs> oh, they are so sweet, so cute, a beautiful animal. doing it to it. You done cave this thing in, man. You done done it to it. Want some more? Want some more? Yeah. <laughs> Your little tummy rumbling. Take that as you fool. I'm gonna get you down so you can potty. <laughs> Your little tummy's warm. Come on, Bradley. We gotta go get more wood. Be on your toes. Yeah, you hear it. 
Here the geese, the pretty geese. They're beautiful. They a little child of God, just like you. And me. We're all little gifts in it. Make it simple and scrub my back. Put my saw back on zero. Make sure my back's on zero so it's square. Coke is cleaning the baby off like a baby. I hope she stays sweet like that. Baby, do you hear the animals? I'll show y'all what I have prepped and I have 
prepped and assembled eight bird houses. I still gotta cut my hole out for the birds and I still gotta, you know, put them together. But I just set them up because it's, it's real simple to stand them up because there's thick boards and they square so they'll stand up good. But there's our, there's my new saw that I got for the projects. It's doing so good. I get to do this outside. I get to have little Bradley with me. Little Bradley with me. Bradley, what you think? Hmm? Look, Bradley, there's Papa. <laughs> they ain't running off nowhere. No? You can't come around, right? <laughs> Building bird houses.
right, y'all, little Bradley's laying there. Want to show y'all this? I have these bird houses that I cut and I just stood them up earlier today. I also have these kits right here. This right here is a kit. I can I can mail you this right here. This is a birdhouse kit. This is a birdhouse kit. I can mail this to you and you can assemble your own birdhouse and paint it if you would like. I know some people don't have access to the tools and stuff and uh, ain't sure about measuring it. Uh, them, th for them people, you know, I can, I can certainly build you one, paint it, send it to you. But the little more advanced people that's younger and has access to the equipment, I can send you this right here. You just let me know. All right. Come on, come on Bradley.
install the hinge on the top. Diesel, leave it. together.
know how much sawdust you got on you. You got all that sawdust on you. All that sawdust on you. Yeah. Come on, babe.
What you doing? Baby. Beautiful afternoon out here. Little Bradley's helping with the project. Bentley wants to go kayaking.
never want to look at that when you cut when you cut them. the bread is frayed out never want to look at it Man, you got over here fast.
pretty, ain't it? Good morning, everybody. This is Stephen Hodges. Today, we're going to be working on some birdhouse orders. I have a his and her birdhouse. I have my mother wants a birdhouse. And I have a lady Miss Shannon. Miss Shannon Shrampton wants a yellow birdhouse. I told her I could certainly do a yellow birdhouse. The his and her birdhouse is Tracy Ruth. All right, Miss Tracy. I'm going to do your husband's first. Got a beautiful morning. Birds is making all kinds of sounds. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to be burning it. Got a little Bradley out here. He's with me this morning. Sugar Bridges, she's off work today. Just going to put a good even burn on it.
thank y'all for y'all sweet comments and messages. Get on there and read them. It sure means a lot. It means a lot to people get on there and say they've thought about you and they've prayed for you and or, or they had a bad day and got off work and looked online and seen a seen a post about Bradley or Bentley or my family and it just makes your day better that's really what it's all about Alright Bradley, you leave the camera alone now. His little butt, we, we figured out he eats just about anything. Let me rephrase that. He might not eat it, but he chews on it. Rooting the camera like a little hog over there. When you burn wood, it brings out the knots and the grains in the wood. It's so pretty. Come on. Get up here with Mama. <coughs> hey, watch that smoke, though. Sure, still center from here. Yeah. I hear little doves. Miss Roof, I want to thank you all for. Want my birdhouse. Certainly glad to do one for you. I've never had a never had a his and hers before. That's pretty cool. This men wax is Classic black gloss. really ain't no trick to this you just got to get it in there kind of be rough with it or that's my approach anyway Bradley what are you doing
scared of little geese. On these stains on this wood, you can do any color you'd like. This, this color right here kind of makes it look antiquish, I reckon. If it had a word. Roof, there's your hubbies. said she wanted a girly color. Girly color. <laughs> Can't think of more girly than this. No, I kind of like this color myself. Aquamarine. Bradley ain't saying a whole lot. This is going to attract the pretty bird. They'll see this thing coming from a, a mile away. Somebody asked me the other day in a comment, how long have I been painting, doing crafts? <laughs> I've painted with spray paint a lot. But as far as the acrylic side, and I did a pretty good bit of varnishing. I did a pretty good bit of staining. But as far as acrylic paint, this is pretty much what y'all seen is it. Know everybody sweet in their comment. Oh, that's beautiful. Just you're so crafty. I love. <laughs> that was my first time painting on camera or or painting for anybody. Like I say, we I painted, but just not with this type of paint. It's still trying to figure it all out. And, and thank y'all for you got a lot of tips about watering it down and about putting baking soda in it changing the texture I had a lot of comments about this acrylic paint won't hold up outside I, I did know that I didn't put the 
I clear coat them with sealant, but I didn't have that in the video just for the sake of time. But I hear them little pitter patter feet. I was tickled. My mama, she messaged in the comments with everybody else and said, I would like a birdhouse, please. You design and color. Love, mama. P.S. Love your crafting. Mama's funny. On a side note, call my mama at work. I said, Mama, that was sweet. Thank you for ordering a birdhouse. She said, ordering a birdhouse? I said, yeah, that was sweet. I seen your message. She said, well, I didn't order no birdhouse, but I got a feeling I know who did. <laughs> My daddy had messaged on her account to tell me she wanted a birdhouse. That's sweet. I guess it was going to be a surprise. It's probably not a surprise anymore, Ben's. I called her to tell her I loved it. Ain't my first time I messed up a surprise. When I was little, Daddy took me Christmas shopping for Mama. Took me with him, help, you know, so I could help pick out her gift. And I think we wind up going to Belts or J.C. Penney's or one of them. Mama wanted her microwave. So, we went and picked out a microwave, wrapped it up for for Christmas. It was in a big old box. I think we wrapped it in a bigger box than what it even come in, just, I don't know, just for the fun of it, because that's, that's kind of how you do. Some folks is good at guessing, so you have to throw them off path. But I was young, you know, it, it was cute. I told my mom, I said, we got you something for Christmas. We got you something for Christmas. She she loves surprises, loves. I mean, like, loves them is more than anybody I know. Well, I gave her a hint. <clears throat> I said, Mom, I'm going to give you a hint. You won't never guess it. She didn't want no hint, but you know, I was little. I imagine I was Bentley's age. And I said, it looks like a TV, but it's got a door on it. And I laughed, grinned. That just tickled me, like I was little. You know, I didn't know that, like I completely gave it away in the first three seconds of my hint. <laughs> well, Mama, that's still an ongoing thing to this day. When I get her something for Christmas or her birthday, I ask her, does she want a hint? And very sarcastically, I do not want a hint. I want to be surprised. So, funny true story. I had no idea my hint was a, like 
the best hen ever been gave. Really ain't made a peep all morning. Mm, I think I want to do something else to it. I hear them pretty geese. Got lots of geese. Alrighty, Miss Tracy Ruth from New York. Two bird houses, his and her, across keychain. Here you go. I'll seal these. Set these to the side. Start on the net. <sighs> Did 
this right here. Gonna be for Mama. Mama's favorite color. Favorite color in George Strait. That sums her up. She ain't always been George Strait fan. I mean, uh, she ain't. I said that wrong. Not only is she a George Strait fan, but she loves Alan Jackson too. We went to an Alan Jackson concert when I was little. I heard her mama. Mama wanted to go get one of them Alan Jackson shirts from the merchandise stand. And I mean, she was like, Daddy had to like grab her by the hand because like, you wasn't fitting to stop her. You know, she wanted an Alan Jackson shirt. And she still has it to this day. But Daddy told her, you know, Daddy didn't want her walking because it's out of town where the concert was. Daddy didn't want her walking over there by herself because Mama's short. Mama's a short lady. And he just didn't want her going. Us Hodges men, we protected. I mean, we, we look after everybody. Daddy said, I'll go get the shirt. You sit here. She got the shirt she wanted. And I can tell you, that joker's, uh, that's a tall fella. I mean, he ain't a little bit tall. He's like, see him surprise you, see him re-surprise you. beautiful color. I can't wait to see my mama's face. Speaking of faces, the little sweet lady, Miss Tammy Winter's mama that I made the cross for, oh my goodness, she posted the sweetest picture. Little 90 year old woman holding that cross I made. It just absolutely melted my heart it was sweet her little hands were so wrinkled her big her smile was so big that is exactly why I enjoy doing this I enjoy putting smiles on faces and, and giving somebody something that from the heart. Every video I make somebody at the neighbors blowing the horn. It ain't the FedEx, man. Old donkey hollering.
it's mating season for the geese around here, so they love coming to the pond and whiting in the field and carrying on. They have their babies here. Yeah, they have their babies here. They lay eggs in the back side of the pond in the grass and the hot tall grass. And they're so pretty. They're so tiny. They they live here until they're old enough to fly off. They don't never leave the area, they just, there's a couple ponds around the area and they just hang out back and forth, but it's, it's cute because they always come back every year. That's a pretty bird. That's an ori. Alright. How do you know if it's recorded? Oh, I see it. This is Miss Shannon Frampton. She wants a yellow bird house. So pretty. She's got good taste, I can tell you that. She's so sweet. She told me, she said, she asked me how much for the birdhouse and I told her $13 shipping. She said, don't tell my husband, but I, I'm going to send you a little extra. It's so sweet. And I told her that was not necessary. But I also mind my manners because uh, I've also been taught about my elders. They don't say something just for the heck of it to hear their self talk. If they say something, they mean it. So I respect that. I just want to say thank you. My family sure appreciates it. Gosh, this color so pretty. Diesel, you want a treat? You want a treat, baby? You've been good. Come here. Come here. See it? See it? Oh, that's a good boy. But Ben's they are Hodges. You ain't gotta worry about it taking them long to eat it. There's one thing we can do. 
We can work and we can eat. We take just as much pride in one as we do the other. <laughs> I can already see now gonna be another craft owl trip for me. Next time I go, I'm gonna put me a paint shirt on when I'm in there buying paint. I like pink. I think it's very manly color. I also think you gotta be a man to wear pink or purple because you either be a you either better be a man or be tough one or the other. My little Bentley, he looks so pretty in them colors. It's color his personality it stands out I'll tell you a cute story speaking of Bentley Bentley don't he's you know he's 10 years old he's innocent he's a child of God these bracelets right here I got for y'all but it's, it's gonna be coming up in the next couple of videos I ordered 150 of these bracelets with Bible verses on them they're so sweet this one right here says it's got a mountain top faith can move mountains Matthew 17 20 well I showed them to Bentley yesterday morning so look, Bentley, I got these to give away to our sweet people on YouTube. And he said, how he was intrigued. He got them things, and he he wasn't just looking at the pictures. He was reading it, saying the like the scripture on it, saying the verses. And I told him, I said, baby, would you like to would you like to take one to school and give to your friend? He said, yeah, I'll do that. I got a Christian friend at school. I thought that was kind of sweet. <laughs> I mean, a child, you know, you never know what they'll say. They, they'll, they tend to, like, innocently amaze you. And uh, I took him to school. He was tickled. He looked through the pack. And he's like, oh, I like this one. But I already have one. But this color is my favorite color. But I'm going to save this for somebody else. Long story short, I took him to school. Picked him up yesterday. And I seen he had one bracelet on his hand. He went to school with two. I said, baby, did your friend like your bracelet? I said, I said, did you give your friend your bracelet? He said, uh, well, I talked to him and got to understand fourth grade, fifth grade, got to understand fifth grade. He said, well, I asked him if he was a Christian and he said he was just kidding about being a Christian. And you know, them sweet little youngins, they're so innocent. But I said, Bentley, what did you do? He said, well, I didn't give it to him because I didn't want him to not appreciate it and it wind up going in the trash or something. He said, I didn't want it to be thrown away. And that, like he had my attention. Because, I don't know, that's, you know, we talking about his personality. 
even though he's a little baby, he's got a foundation. He's working on his foundation for life. I said, baby, what did you do with it? He said, well, I asked my teacher if she was a Christian. And she said she was. So Bentley asked her, was she like a bracelet with a Bible verse on it? And she said she would absolutely be honored. So Bentley gave it to his teacher. And I thought it was cute. I mean, it <laughs> bless his heart. He he don't know. He he don't know no. But he's got real good intentions. He's so sweet. He didn't want it through thrown away. How about that? I told him that me and Renee talked to him and told him that it's okay if somebody's not a Christian. That's why you talk to them and you tell them about Jesus. And you give them the opportunity to, you know, learn about him and seek him and want to know more about him. And, and he said he understood, which he's a little bitty baby. He's, he's got a lot of growing to do. But it was sweet. It made me feel good as a parent that my child is is helping spread Jesus it means a lot to me it made my day to be able to share that with my baby I know it certainly makes my mother happy my mama has prayed Amenia many a day, many a hour, wept a many a tear for me and my sister. Not because we was bad, just for the simple fact that you want the best for your baby, you know. It's coming together. This yellow is beautiful. I never really can. I never really thought about. Wow, like I love yellow. I mean, I don't dislike yellow, but I've never. I don't know. But this is the most beautiful thing I've seen. This yellow. This. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And you got the wood grains coming through. I've had a lot of viewers message me saying that they're starting to receive their crosses in the mail. I've had two or three people say their package was damaged and their cross was gone out. And I've remailed that but when you mail out 150 crosses you can understand you can understand them meeting a battle along the way and there's casualties in anything and I can definitely live with that the sweet people didn't even want me to send them another one. They said they didn't want me to go through the trouble, but when you're doing something out of your heart, it is no trouble whatsoever. Just like a mom raising a child, it's, that's not a job. That's not when they go to work, they tell their spouse, I need you to babysit. That's it's not like that's pride and joy. This is so pretty. Got some beautiful colors today. It be exciting to do a Harley Davidson one. I know some people out there got Harley Davidson.
Oh my goodness. That baby's laying on my feet. Alrighty. Got paint everywhere in all kinds of colors. Yellow, aqua, purple, white. Beautiful colors. Alright, we got a yellow, purple, we got a his and her. I enjoyed. I so enjoy doing this. Come here, baby. Look at the pretty projects. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? <laughs> Gotta get up there and get your approval. He likes the yellow. <laughs> All right, guys. Had a beautiful morning. Pretty uh, pretty weather. Let me look at the weather. It is. It feels. Fifty-three degrees. So, fifty-three degrees this morning. It's beautiful out here. Little Bradley eats anything, anything, everything. He can get his little teeth on. Chews on the grass. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, too. All right, enjoyed y'all watching. Another project here done. I want to thank the good Lord I get to do what I enjoy doing. I got little Bradley here to, to be a part of it. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Remember to share this video to your Facebook and it'll help me out. It'll help reach more subscribers and it'll give me an opportunity to spread joy around the world. And you never know. Uh, your your mother could receive one of these custom-made birdhouses, and it's non-profit. It's all I just charge what the what it costs at the post office to ship it. And just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.